Hello there, Sir Fancy here and welcome in this tutorial where you can learn how to make a pressable button for your VR game. Let's look at how it will look like. Okay, so first of all, let's make sure that you notice this professional I made button. Best on the market, you can get better VR button. Anyway, if you press it, the doors will open and if you press it again, the doors will close again. You can connect it to whatever functionality in your game you just want. Alright then, let's get started. I am in basic VR template that you can have uh, when you start a new engine on VR mode. And these additional stuff as table and sword are here from uh, my previous project on how to make a sword. If you want if you want to see that tutorial, you can link in the description. But that's not why we are here. We are here how to make a push button or just a button. So let's go to blueprints, content. Uh, or you know what, we will actually do it just in content. Let's create here a new blueprint blueprint class and actor because we need to create some button and that's how we will call our mesh okay and let's add okay let's rearrange it a little bit and add here component and that would be mesh and let's do static mesh compile and let's use cube it's a little bit too big so let's scale it down to 0.1 or 0.2 maybe and it's always good to test it right in VR, so if we put it just here, that seems about the right size. Okay, scale it down and rename it to body. If you are using your custom mesh and want to have some specific button, which you probably do, feel free to do so. The only thing you change here is the static mesh, of course. Okay, then let's copy it, duplicate it and call it button. Okay, put it a little bit up and scale it. Okay, compile and we probably need to change some material uh, to do, we can use whatever. So I will use M base material, which that is something that you should have in your project as well if you just start it or you can use whatever you want. So if you look at it, it seems like we have a really, really simple button. Okay, let's put it here on the table, on the table. And let's do some programming. So another thing we need to add is collision, box collision, and uh, make sure that it's attached to button and put it a little bit more up. Okay, scale it down so it's really only here. And it's probably better to have it at the same size as CR button. Okay, compile and add here event begin overlap. Now from here we need to cast to object that will be touching that for in our case it will be our mesh, our uh, virtual reality hand, which is in virtual reality BP blueprints and there is BP motion controller. So we need to cast to it, cast to BP motion controller and connect objects to other actor. Next thing we want to do is to animate it. So that should be simply by taking this button and move it. So take it from here and add here move component to and connect it. Let's say that I want to do have it in time of one second and now we need to set target location and target rotation. So from our button it could be same as, we, as it is connected to component we will get a relative transform and split it. Split structure pin, let, let, uh, rotation connect to rotation and with location we will do just small an adjustment and add here minus vector minus vector and everything will be same except we will take it minus 10 or maybe 5 uh, on z axis 5 core uh, 5 vector coordinates on z axis and to test it out we will take our event peg and play and connect it here just so we know if it actually works okay click here and click on simulate and it seems like it looked just fine so we can use it here wonderful and test it in vr if everything works okay now i'm in game right in front of that button so i will simply put my hand on it and you can see that it works like a charm it doesn't go back and it actually goes much lower that's something we need to fix right now first thing we need to push is 
to make sure that once it is pushed, it won't be pushed again and again and again. So let's go to, back to our button and we will create here variable. Simple boolean and let's call it is pressed. Okay, and simply before that we will add here a branch and make sure that you don't have it in true but in false and connect here is pressed and after false first thing we will do is to set is oh i will actually show you a little trick that i'm using take this is pressed and put it here and press con and press control like that it will jump just to set which is what you need and we need to set it to true which means that once this will start overlap you will put your hand in there it will ask if it is pressed and if it if it will be pressed it won't do anything but if it won't be pressed it will do this pressing and just to make sure that it, you can press it again let's go to end of your code take your is pressed control again and set it to disable again okay but we need to also add it to your previous coordinates. So we will simply take all this, control C, move that further ahead. And after completed, let's put here a delay. Let's say one second. And we need to change few things before it will be pressable again. Okay, we need to change this node. So it's in minus five and we need to set it to plus. So vector plus vector and set it to plus five. So it will be on same coordinates as it's actually started. Okay, compile and put it simply here. Move and then it will be capable of pressing it again. Okay, compile and see if it works. Again in front of the button, so let's go here and put your hand into it works it waits and then it's up again you can change timing just as you need and let's try it again and it works like a charm okay now you can make a game of a pushing and pressing buttons but if i showed you only this it would be actually a really boring tutorial so let's make a door or something that we can do with this so for that we will create another blueprint and actor call it door open it and add here a mesh again static mesh preferably use your own meshes but i'm not going to waste my time on that and primarily not your time so let's put our static mesh here oh we need to set that static mesh again for cube and scale it only on one axis which means z i believe oh it's y probably but that doesn't matter okay let's put that here and you can already see that it doesn't really do what i want so let's rotate it you can have it side by side or if you have two monitors that's even better okay again enable snapping which you probably have set it to 90 degrees and put it up oh no actually you need to put it up here and scale it hey sir fancy here just a quick info you are learning how to press a button and you haven't even pressed the like button? Are you serious? What would your mother say to that? Go press the like button! And let's continue with the tutorial. And it actually is rotated completely differently than I would like to. Now it works. And let's say that I want this door to be opened as soon as uh, I press this button. As I push this button. So for that let's... Okay, let's scale this up and they go to event graph and we will create here custom event so let's right click and we will add here event so custom event add custom event and let's call it opening i'm sure that that's not how you write opening that's better i didn't need to google it don't look at me like that okay so let's go here and from here on we will again move component right now you are probably only using casting and moving components but that's just fine you can connect it to component from here get world location and oh you know what we'll actually take both because i'm not really sure what it will do with uh, rotation so get a relative transform and uh, split structure pin connect it to rotation and location set 
to minus vector minus vector. Move this a little bit down. And I believe it will be probably y axis. And let's try minus 50. That's probably really a lot. So let's try like 10. Okay, and again, best way to test it is just to go to event begin play. Make sure that you uh, edit over time, unless you want it really fast. And see what it does. Okay, simulate. Okay, that didn't really move. So let's try it. Let's try to edit it a little bit. Let's add here. Make sure that it's only after opening them. Oh, I have just because I did it on other monitor. I'm sorry about that. Uh, with that, uh, I have just changed the uh, return value location to plus and set it to plus, plus 300 and to target relative location. I will try to make sure that I won't do it again. And da -da -da. let's close it and connect it to our button. So edit button um, and da -da -da. right here before our overtime. Let's put here get all actor of location, uh, get all actor of class, and set that to our door. Move everything else, and let's set it to a little bit shorter because otherwise we don't want to wait unless until it will be all closed. We actually need to get actor of class, so get actor of class not all actors and that will be set to door and from here on we can use opening now it should work okay connect it from here and see if it works well it won't work because we need to actually press that button so we are preview and try to press that button okay press on it and you can see the doors moved wonderful but if I press it now, it moves even more, which is something we again need to fix. But that again, that should be really simple. Uh, in our door blueprint, let's go after opening. We will add here flip flop. This is my favorite note because it just sounds fun to say it. Flip flop. <laughs> okay, move it and put that flip flop here. After you add flip flop, you can simply take all this and Control C, Control V again, and the only thing you need to do is to change this node to minus vector minus vector and set it to minus 300. So it should get to its original state and connect it to move. Okay, now back in VR, let's test it out. So I'll press that button, the doors moves, and let's press it again, and it moves back. Congratulations, guys. Good job. Good job, everyone. If you are interested in that sword tutorial, let me quickly show you. You will be able to make such a sword, oh, not a make, but how to put it in Unreal Engine, and you will be able to cut stuff. Okay, that's everything for this tutorial. I hope that you learned something. If you did, write in comments what you learned. Okay, that's really stupid. You learned how to make a button. I know, I know. Anyway, write in comments what the next VR tutorial would you like to see or what kind of game dev video would you like to see. That's everything from me. Join the Discord, like, subscribe, all this funny stuff. You know how it works here on YouTube, in land of YouTube. Anyway, I don't know. I'm kind of distracting right now. So fancy, out.